Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's fix your interface. All right, you're here because you did something wrong to your interface. Something happened, you want to change it. Before we have a look at it, check out my new Bellico Photo Backdrop. That's not green screen, that's a fabric photo backdrop on the wall, $30, it's seven feet wide, they make them bigger, 10 feet. Anyway, let's explore what panels are, resetting panels, workspaces, and all of that. Okay, so Premiere Pro is made up of a bunch of panels, and when you click on a panel, you'll see the blue line around it. That tells you what's in focus. If you accidentally close something, like I'm going to come down to my timeline, and I'll click right here and close that. Now I've got nothing in here, and I can even click on the little hamburger menu and close that panel completely. Now your timeline is gone, and you're probably wondering, how do I get my timeline back? Let's look at workspaces, because that's the easiest way to fix things. Premiere Pro comes with a ton of different workspaces, and I've got lots of tutorials on workspaces. They're in the top right-hand corner, and they changed over the years, but this is where they are right now. In fact, I'm going to turn this label off to show you what they are by default. They're just this little inconspicuous button here. They're also in the window menu. Window, workspaces, and all of your workspaces are here. In the window menu, you can also see every single panel. So if I wanted to go to the timeline, look, it's right here, select it, and I open up my timeline. But where is it? It's here. What you're looking at here, believe it or not, is the, if I open this up, this, let me just open up the uh, actual sequence. This is, the meters. So just going to the window menu and opening something up might open it in the wrong place. Every one of these panels is resizable. So in this instance, simply going to the window menu and choosing it didn't work because when I closed the timeline panel, the meter panel was still open and it opened as wide as it could until it filled that space. So let's go back over to our workspaces over here and you'll see Essentials. You might be familiar with editing. I'm gonna select that one. And that gives us our two uh, program, uh, source monitor, program monitor display, where you get one on each window, and that might be more familiar. I happen to prefer this new Essentials workspace. Now, you might think if I select the Essentials, it's going to fix everything. It's not it's going to go back to the last setting I had, which was the big meters and the small timeline. All of the, the uh, workspaces that Adobe gives you can be reset. So if you make a mess, the easiest way is to choose a workspace. If that doesn't reset it, reset the workspace and that will reset it to the factory setting. How do you do that? Well, you can go back to this menu, go down to the bottom, and you can reset it to the saved layout. I'll select that, and now everything is back to normal. You can see over here on the right, my meters are showing up, and in this view, I've got a program monitor and a source monitor back to back. What I like to do is click on the workspace menu and turn on the label, because with the label showing, all you have to do is double click on it and it will reset that workspace. Now, the first time you do that, you'll get a dialog box asking you if that's what you want to do. And then you can choose to hide that dialog box because if you reset a lot, why do you have to answer a dialog box? You know what you're doing. The issue comes up if you've created a custom workspace and you didn't save it, this is really common. Let's say that you wanted to have something different like Let's say the Lumetri panel ends right here, but there's all this extra stuff down here. Wouldn't it be nice to have the Lumetri panel over on the right? And you can do that by dragging any of the panels by their name. 
So don't drag it by the menu, drag it right by the name. Now I'm not gonna move it over to the edge first. I wanna show you that you can drag this and you'll see a highlight telling you where that panel is going to go before you let it go. So if I wanted it in behind all of these panels, I drag it to the middle and let go. Now it's in this list. But what I wanted to do is drag it to the right. This is a little trickier because it's a different color. If you keep going, this will put it to the left, which is what we don't want. But if you drag it a little further, this turns green and it's now docked to the outside. Of course, it makes this giant view. So we've got to scoot this back. And remember our meter, this is that meter, it filled up too, but we can also drag this back. So there's the meter, it's small. Maybe make our effects controls smaller, program monitor bigger. So now we have this set up, but the workspace is essentials. If you reset essentials, all the custom uh, positioning is gone. So what you want to do is click in here and save this as a new workspace. And I've done that right here. I've created one I call my home base. And that one is almost identical to essentials, but it does have a larger space here and it closes a bunch of panels that I don't care about. For instance, over here, um, this little double arrow shows you the only panels I have here are effects, libraries, media browser, and the project panel itself. Now I wanna show, I hope this happens so I can show you something. There is a little odd thing that happens if you want to change the tab order. Sometimes the left-hand side gets big and it's a real pain. So I'll drag this over to the left and it didn't. You can also use your scroll wheel to scroll around, but sometimes when you drag this around, you'll get a large space on the left and you can just drag that over. Now let's talk about panels that you want to have floating. All of these panels are docked in their specific spot, but sometimes you want it to undock them. And if you've got a second monitor, you can drag them over to the second monitor, but please remember to save your workspaces. So let's uh, look at essential sound. And we'll, we'll hold the control key on Windows, command key on Mac, and I'll drag it. And you'll see right away that it's floating. If I let go of that key, it's going to go back to that docking view. Select the same key, control command, and now it's floating on its own. If you try to redock this, let's say you accidentally moved this and you didn't intend to, what a lot of people will do is they'll drag the title bar and try to dock it. Don't do that. Go back to dragging the name and now we can scooch that back over there. So it's very useful if you want to drag these panels out, but if you've accidentally dragged them out, which happens sometimes when people are dragging the timeline, and I've seen this before in forums, my goodness, what happened to my timeline? Well, you need to drag it back here. Now, notice that my, pan, my um, meters are over here to the left. So if I just drag it down here, then I've got, my timeline, but where did my meters go? I don't even know where they were. Oh, there they are. They're in their own panel over here. So what I should have done is dock this to the left. You can see that little blue area. Now they're to the left and, oh, nope, my audio meters are over here. Here's a dilemma. My audio meters can't change if they're already docked, I need to undock them and redock them, or let me hear you, reset the workspace. But let me show you undocking and redocking. Audio meters with control command. You see how huge it is. And I don't even have my menu. I, this is a perfect example. I don't even know how to dock this now because the audio meters 
the menu in here, everything is gone. Obviously that's a bug. And if I resize that, I can't. So the only way for me to redock this now is to go back, double click and reset my workspace. Wow, I'm glad that happened because not everything works the way it's intended to work. Occasionally things get weird. So that little audio meter can be a problem. But that's all you really need to know is moving the panels, resetting the default workspaces, save your own if you want to make any changes. And if you're missing a panel, always go to the window menu and look for it. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more like our wonderful uh, donors do, which we love so much. Thank you so much, you wonderful people. You can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Uh, you can donate once, monthly, any amount. There's lots of free stuff. Become a member. There's even more things you can download. And uh, we really do appreciate everything that you do to support us here at Adobe. At Adobe, did I say? I'm so used to my old job being at Adobe, at Video Reveal. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to help you do things like fix your interface.